Hi, I'm Kevin Varnes with Unison Incorporated. Today we're going to talk about our redesigned capillary splicer. Mainly, how to replace a nozzle, repair and replace coaxial hoses, and retrofit from the old to the new capillary splicer design. The redesigned capillary splicer was implemented on September 1, 2016 on all systems that required it. One quick and easy way to tell if your system has the new capillary splicer is to look at the release ring on the push-in fitting on the nozzle coupler block. The redesigned capillary splicer systems will have a black release ring. The old design capillary splicer will usually have a green release ring on the push-in fitting. The first thing that we're going to talk about is removing and then replacing the nozzle on a system that uses the redesigned capillary splicer. First step is to loosen the nut that holds the nozzle onto the nozzle coupler block. Then remove the capillary from the nozzle from the capillary splicer. To replace the nozzle, simply grab the capillary from the nozzle, install it onto the capillary splicer, and then retighten the nozzle retaining nut. Now we're going to talk about how to shorten the coaxial hose on a system that uses the redesigned capillary splicer. The first thing that you want to do is remove the push-in fitting from the pump block. This will expose the capillary line. Next, with some needle nose pliers, grab the capillary and pull it off the barb fitting on the pump. Now you can remove the push-in fitting from the 3 8 hose. Next, take the 3 8 hose from the push-in fitting on the nozzle coupler block and pull that out. This will give you an exposed length of the 3 8 hose with the capillary pulled back. Now you can trim your 3 8 hose to whatever length you'd like. Now, slide the capillary back through the 3 8 hose. Install the push-in fitting on the pump side of the 3 8 hose. And trim your capillary so it's about 1 quarter to a half inch beyond the end of the push-in fitting. Now take the capillary and install it onto the barb fitting on the pump. Now reinstall the push-in fitting onto the pump. Now we're going to talk about completely replacing the coaxial hose when used with the redesigned capillary splicer. We'll begin by removing the push-in fitting from the pump block. Pull that back to expose the capillary. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, pull the capillary from the barb fitting on the pump. Next, we'll remove the nozzle from the coupler block. Loosen the screw and pull the capillary from the splicer. Next, we'll remove the push-in fitting from the nozzle coupler block. Pull that off to expose the capillary and the capillary splicer. Now, we'll cut the capillary from the capillary splicer. Remove both push-in fittings from the old coaxial hose. To reinstall, put one push-in fitting on the end of the 3 8 hose. Install the barbed fitting from the capillary splicer onto the capillary. Reinstall the push-in fitting and the capillary splicer into the nozzle coupler block.
Reinstall your nozzle by putting the capillary from the nozzle onto the capillary splicer. and tighten down the nozzle retaining nut. Next, we'll install the other push-in fitting on the other end of the 3 8 hose. Trim your capillary approximately a quarter to a half inch from the end of the push-in fitting. And then reinstall the capillary onto the barb fitting on the pump. Then reinstall the push-in fitting onto the pump. Finally, we're going to talk about how to retrofit your system from the old capillary splicer to the redesigned capillary splicer. Once again, we'll start by removing the push-in fitting from the pump block. Pull that back to expose the capillary. Using needle nose pliers, pull the capillary from the barb fitting on the pump. Next, we'll remove the push-in fitting from the nozzle coupler block. Pull that back to expose the capillary. Cut the capillary from the old capillary splicer. Next, remove the nozzle from the nozzle coupler block. Trim the capillary from the nozzle approximately a quarter to three eighths of an inch from the end of the nozzle. To reassemble, use one new push-in fitting and one new redesigned capillary splicer. Install the new push-in fitting on the end of the 3 8 hose. Install the barbed end of the capillary splicer onto the capillary. Install the push-in fitting into the nozzle coupler block. Install the capillary from the nozzle onto the capillary splicer. And install the nozzle onto the nozzle coupler block. Next, take one of your old push-in fittings and install on the end of the 3 8 hose. And trim your old capillary approximately a quarter to a half inch from the end of the push-in fitting. Now install the capillary onto the barb fitting on the pump. And then reinstall the push-in fitting into the pump block. As always, if you have any questions, please call UNIST for assistance at 1-800-253-5462 or email us at salessupport at unist.com.